What is your profession? Pro GPU. You? I GPU. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. It's news time, man. First up for today, a new GPU from Nvidia, as well as a new CPU from Intel, were both spotted in a single leak. Originally found and shared by RO Game, we have a Geekbench benchmark that shows a GTX 1650 Ti, which is actually something we've seen before, but it's been a while. This time, it's benchmarked with an i7-10750H, which is a yet unreleased high-performance mobile processor from Intel that, according to this, is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. Unfortunately, this isn't a CPU benchmark, so it doesn't tell us much, except that we're dealing with a notebook, which means the 1650 Ti is also likely a mobile version, though I would be surprised if it never made its way to desktop, especially given AMD's newest offerings. Either way, it comes with 1024 CUDA cores that's clocked up to 1.49 GHz and comes with 4 GB of GDDR6. As far as the score, Geekbench really isn't the most reliable benchmarking tool, but according to Tom's Hardware, the 1650 typically gets a little over 2,000 points less. At the end of the day, as long as this is a valid benchmark and Nvidia actually releases it, we're likely looking at yet another win for the consumer as AMD and Nvidia fight to gain dominance. Next up for today, AMD is having one of their first major sales on their Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Now, maybe that means Ryzen 4000 is coming soon, but regardless, we're looking at some good deals from $19 off all the way to $59 off. If you're interested, check out those affiliate links in the description below. Next up, we have a huge story that comes directly from AMD's head of Radeon product management, Mathun Chandraskar. My apologies, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Either way, while speaking at an RX 5600 XT briefing, according to PC Games N, he actually stated, quote, Similar to Ryzen, all of us need a thriving Radeon GPU ecosystem. So are we going after 4K and going to similarly disrupt 4K? Absolutely, you can count on that. But that's all I can say right now. What did you say? Okay, so here he's obviously talking about the upcoming 5950 XT or 5900 XT or whatever it'll end up being called. That's just what I'm using for now because everyone knows what I mean. Regardless, it's the upcoming GPU that's meant to challenge Nvidia's best. Now, you could argue that this is just marketing speak, and I can understand that. We've certainly seen similar things from AMD's Radeon department in the past, and definitely don't get too hyped because of this, but it was definitely a bold choice of words. I mean, he actually compared the upcoming Navi card to Ryzen specifically and how it disrupted the CPU market. I mean, remember that Ryzen offered an 8-core CPU that beat Intel's for less than half the price? Of course, without doing something different like getting away from monolithic dies, I'm not sure how they'll truly be able to disrupt things. Then again, everything points to this being AMD's next-gen RDNA architecture, which should mean it'll be the first without GCN. So it definitely does open up some huge opportunities that AMD likely hasn't had for a while. Personally, I don't see AMD making the impact Ryzen has had on the GPU market unless they do go full multi-chip modules. With that said, I absolutely do think it'll be way more powerful than their current products, based on the rumors and benchmarks that we have. But hey, I could be wrong. I even think it could topple the 2080 Ti, but I think the real question is whether it'll be enough to challenge Nvidia's next-gen and peer GPUs. Either way, the more both companies continue to challenge one another to deliver the best products they can at a better and better price, I'm happy. Lastly for today, PNY actually unveiled two new RTX GPUs. Well, they're not new and they're actually quadro cards, but what's interesting is that they're both passively cooled, meaning they don't have any fans. What's even more wild is that they can dissipate up to 250 watts, and depending on the card, you only lose around 7-12% clock performance. Honestly, I just think this is a testament to cooling technology, and who knows, maybe we'll be able to get away from fans altogether in our future GPUs. So while that does it for today, what do you think of AMD's upcoming Navi GPU? Can it topple Nvidia's next-gen products, or will it be a year too late? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.